and Ariel Moose can clank, I think he's probably right because I thought it was a video that he made about this, and because Ariel Moose can't clank, I don't think. That's right. Uh, so I think it just bypassed it. Maybe some interesting specific interaction. Anyways, we got, we got, uh, we got, we got the return of Lucas. That's right. They are back on the board and ready for some action. Here. In our upcoming match, well, not even upcoming anymore. It's currently ongoing. Losers finals. It's running. It's coming down to this for both Sockham and Toast and Butter because they both have really good runs. But of course, you know. Unfortunate events or uh, sometimes just some honestly really good competition on their other end of the bracket can lead to uh, them going wayside, unfortunately. But, yeah, having having them both lost to Reflex is going to be determining who's going to be getting that run back. So that's going to be super important for the both of them. That's right. Let's see who's going to come out on top. Right. And yeah, so far... Dead nope. even. Yeah, so far ni neither of them have come out on top as it usually goes. Feeling at the neutral a little bit, and it seems to be very even neutral for the both of them uh, at this time. Yeah, I I, I want to see what kind of stuff because Lucas has got some interesting. I want to see what what he has to do, what uh, Sakura's got to do to deal with uh, Toast and Butter's just outright raw speed. Like right, right there, like he couldn't do contention. very much but jump to get out of that. He didn't have too many options. So, the juggle combos, a floaty character juggle combo, Sonic can kind of, he's pretty good, his juggle combos aren't like super fast, nice back air. RER yeah, back air, really back first stock to favorite, close and better. Um, you know, Sonic's juggle combos aren't very long, but he doesn't, Sonic doesn't really care what the weight of his opponent is, because it's just so fast, he can just kind of be there. Yeah, he can just kind of show up, to be honest. That's right. Oh, air dodge is going to get eaten up. Yeah, that, that was good. That was a good call out from Sonko. Very nice. Oh, there we go. The Zare string falls flat though as Toast and Butter meets him at the end of it with a grab into I think the fourth or second. Oh no, it was up there. Yeah. Oh, was that up there? The spike, the one with the spikes. That's up throw. Yeah, the the yeah. quills. It was up there. Okay. Oh, good catch with the F smash. Oh, but he tries to go far stage for an edge guard, but is met with Zare. So good oh. call out there from Sockham. Keeping him in the second stock right now. And he just stands there menacingly. Yeah, he just stands there. There you go, oh, Zare, Zare, Zare. forward air. Order. Goes for the down smash, and he goes high though. Oh, nice job catching with the Zare into the... I mean, honestly, you can just re-grab with it. More yeah, not, you can get a result oh, that. that was genius there. What tells about it? He used the down air to get back to stage, back to the ground quicker, so we can act out of it faster. Yes, very yeah, smart. It's a very useful part of the tool. Oh, game. oh, yeah, mishap off stage. Interesting. Yeah, Either the angle was wrong, maybe he hit the spring yeah. or something. Very possible. Though. Anyways, let's see what Tosa Butter can do. Run away, with, maybe possibly try to run away with his lead. That was a fully charged neutral bleed, which usually isn't a great idea. Wow, response to the back there. That was. Really saved his, his butt there. See yeah. how this cool 50% lead. Oh, oh interesting man. Use of the he rolls backwards. Well. Bro, he turns around mid roll. Doesn't cancel, just turns around. Yeah. That's for the fake out. What is he doing? Hello? Who gave. Okay, who put. Sonic did, forgot to take his decaf today. He gave Someone gave him an espresso this morning. Oh, nice call out with the forwarder, though, on the shield. Really good call out there. That was nice. R.I.P. Toast and Butter's left analog stick. And his thumb. Maybe he's using a Smashbox. I doubt it, though. Are those allowed in this tournament? Is there a what? Are those allowed in this tournament? Or does it matter? I believe, yes. I, I want to see. I, I think so. Yeah, most. Oh. Uh, with the two frame with the downward dangled force smash. Uh, man, he's just throwing hands out here. Yeah. Toast and Butter wants this game, man. He just kind of. Good back, back air, air into down, down air. air. Oh, tries to go for nice down string. Tilt into a re -grab. Up so smash awesome. doesn't quite land. Wow. Ooh, oh, two, three, jab, jab block. Oh, oh, back air cross up. Awesome response there from Toaster Butter. Man. Does the down beat but jumps out of it to fly yeah, right past it land up back air. And again, man. Cross up back air. Exactly. It's like the move hits or it doesn't. And he hit hard there. That was a great catch. Excellent reversal there from Toaster.
Very, yeah, it was very, that was very satisfying. Just teleported behind him, said nothing personal. Boom. Ouch. Where are we going next? That's what, that's what we're looking at. So I've got options. Where would you take this match if it was your choice? That's right. Smashville is going to be the pick. And I think, if I'm not wrong, is this our first Smashville pick of the night? I think it might be, bro. That's what it's looking like. Yeah, that's what it's looking like. Interesting. Very interesting. Three, two, one, go! All right, well, we're starting off on Smashville for the first time tonight here in Losers Finals. Best of five, Toast and Butter is up a game. So this is going to be Sockham's time to try and make a comeback and uh, push some momentum into his favor. That's right. Let's see if he can use this new stage pick to his, uh, to his favor. See if he can, I don't know, pull some out of the bag. Bag of tricks. That's right. Nice. Wow, that was brutal back there. <laughs> that was oh. pretty brutal. Oh, no. Sonic can't. No. no. Caught out the jump. Yeah, out he the was too fast, well. man. Yeah, he was just way too way too far out. That's right. Yeah, it's just not working. Here we go. Got another shot at it, but he's off to a fresh start. While well, meanwhile, Sockham is still on his first start for the game. Is uh, still at 31% on third stock and has plenty of leeway to work with. Oh, but unfortunately, oh, no, what happened? he's going to be getting a taste of his own medicine. Another oh. mishap off stage is going to be tying the game. Only 11% is uh, what Sockham has to work with in terms of an advantage. That, that was disappointing, man. The spaghetti was really flowing out of the pockets on that one. Boy. Oh, boy. Got him off stage. 51%, but already finding himself very far off stage. Only able to make it back on with an air dodge. Just barely making it back. I mean, hey. Uh, it's, it's all about recovering in this game. This game, have, like, recovery. this game probably has the cast with the best recovery. Yeah, I see. So far. Oh, oh, that was smart. He gets dragged Wait, yeah, with the tail there. Yeah, he died the PK Thunder so that he was uh, in knockback straight into the sweet spot. Right. Of his PK Thunder, multi -hit. It was just the very last possible like point he could have done it too. That was very. It good. worked. Ride the lightning. Oh, oh there it is. What? Another okay. good catch with the spring in the back here. Tosin Bird is on point with those tonight. Yeah, that was. I, I, I can't once once again just show up more of this really nice from uh, uh, Toast and Butter with his uh, up B back here. That's right. Oh, nice. Oh, nice neutral B follow up. See, Sonic doesn't have too much. Like, he's all about doing good damage frequently rather than like a long string or something. Right. Like, he hits a lot, but look at the combo damage. It's like 20%. It's like yeah. a, a terrible amount. Not, not, like, not it's not too much. Right. He could do a good amount of knockback, though, but, like, you know, he's got to work. He definitely has one of the characters where he has to work for his, his money. Like, you know. Oh, oh man, the karate kick. Karate kick kick. Just gonna forward kick. aerial. He's going to be closing forward out the aerial. second stock and tying up the stock count for Toast and Butter. But Toast and Butter does have 74% of work with, so he's looking pretty comfortable right now. Even pushing up here to 102. Oh, back air. Landing the back air Insurance. to catch the air dodge. Nice insurance there. Is he going to go for a gimp? He tries to go for the gimp there with the downer. Doesn't quite get it. Oh, he's definitely trying for it right now. There well, it is. Oh, now nah, back here. Off Boom. The that was nice. 2-0. Favor of Toast and Butter, who's just been on a... Just unstoppable. Just on a roll, bro. Just That's right. Just definitely on a roll. Mowing through competitors, bro. Just with these back airs. Just at one after another. Taking, taking butt, taking names. Yeah, look at that. Very little standing in his way right now. But... Keep in mind, if he does win, he does get to run it back against, you know, our, our main right. guy waiting in grand finals. Salty our, uh, run back. Reflex for tonight. And so, yeah, the only person that's been getting in his way is the person that he's going to be waiting to rematch against in grand finals if he wins. But keep in mind, we do have a counter pick being made as we speak to Pikachu. So we're going to have to see how uh, top three characters is going to be uh, shifting the momentum for this matchup. That's right. Hey, uh, give me one second. I drop something. Oh. That's right. We're going into our game three for the both of these players on battlefield. So we have a counter pick and a character switch that are going to be uh, in Sockham's 
uh, ballpark right now, but we're, we're gonna see what he does with both of these, because I don't think he's seen very much uh, of Battlefield tonight, so I'm kind of interested to yeah. see what Sockham's game plan is for this uh, stage yeah. switch. That's, that's right, bro. That's, that's definitely right. I see what Battlefield's going. People choose Sean, I think there's some natural here. Unfortunately, my phone fell out of my pocket. No, it's not. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was... Uh, let's, let's see what, what, what we got. Oh, good forward air. Interesting. Yeah, good, good string from Sockham bringing a Toast and Butter off stage. Even catching him at ledge of the forward smash, but Toast and oh. Butter had the shield up. Back air. See, so, yeah, Pikachu's tight. He'll fall out of the... Oh, nice. He was on stage. Very oh, lucky good for him. Area, no uh, grab. Very no grab. Yeah. So hope Pikachu will fall out of the Sonic spin dash combos, but it's all right because he's got back here. He's got insurance. Sonic's one of those characters where it's like, oh, if what, so something doesn't work, you've got insurance. You've got plan B and sometimes even a plan C. Wow, he wasn't. Oof. Unfortunate. Yeah, I, I don't know. That was kind of weird. Unfortunate. Oh, but there we go. Good catch on the upbeat onto the stage with an S mesh. And now we got ourselves back to square one. Two stocks of teeth. That's right. What do you, what do you, uh, which character do you think at this point has the advantage on the stage? Uh, I would say Sonic doesn't really do too much with platforms. Uh, and I feel like even though it hasn't been used too much, uh, like no matter, no matter where Pikachu is on the stage, if you find something in a good position, you can always catch him with a homing attack. But it seems like Sockham has been using these platforms every so often. Sometimes just for positioning, uh, in case he doesn't want to be in the way of a charging spin dash or whatever. Uh, so that can be right. pretty useful for that. So I feel like it, for, for that reason alone, it does somewhat benefit Sockham. Has some... I, I would actually agree with you there, because if he doesn't want to be in the way, he can just jump up onto a platform. Right, and we're kind of seeing that now. But we also just saw Toast and Butter stuff out that option, catching the jump with an aerial spin dash. There we go. Good parry on the down air. Going to be following up with a down smash to punish. Goes what? a little bit too far off stage to chase Man. and finds himself down to the last stock. But 119 is pretty Bread cool. Butter. Bringing it back. But look at this. This percentage advantage is starting to climb and starting Toast to go butter. He soccer. went. He went for the sauce, bro. He drowned in the sauce. Yeah, he drowned in sauce. Right there we go. Good off smash. smash. 51 percent is doable for Toast and Butter, but. Uh, Sakura is going to be taking that percent even further, all the way up to 70%. So now Toast and Butter is trying to get onto the ropes here for this last stock. Good S smash, 93%. Now. Wow. Nice oh, call out. Oh, he goes for the down B. That would have been a solid finish. Oh, down air. Down it's not the, it's not the, it's a sour spot. Yeah, it's uh, Okay, he just. Back. Yeah, no. What, what a finish here. Strong finish from, from Sakura for this game. And now, he's back on the map. 2 1 1 is now going to be the score count. For Sockham, but uh, Toast and Butter is still very much in favor. Yeah, I definitely understand what you're talking about here in terms of the stage pick. Anyway, we go on to FD now. So, I mean, the understage plays a large part, I think, in this matchup to a degree. If you get downbeat, you know, right. Gotta make sure your tech game's on point. That's right, and you know, just just like I mentioned with the stage pick, this one is definitely going to be the complete opposite, and therefore in favor of Toast and Butter. Nothing stands between, you know, the spin dash and the opponent if uh, if he lets one rip right now. There you go. No platforms to jump on here. That's actually quite ironic. Quite ironic. Isn't Link in Mario Kart now or something? Uh, yeah, they got a whole bunch of Nintendo characters in Mario Kart. Isabel, Inkling. Nintendo Kart. Nintendo Kart. It's funny enough because Samus is not Mario Kart, but she's in Rocket League. Yeah, there you go. Somehow made in a Rocket League. But now, here we are. Excellent back here from Toast and Butter. And uh, going for the two frame. Gets he. Oh. Actually, no. It looks like he had upbeat, uh not towards the platform. So ended up getting caught up in it anyways. But it seemed like that t that time he seemed about right for, for a two frame if he had done it on the right. So great coverage there from Toast and Butter for this first stock. Only 48% on the board for him, so he's, he's pretty up good in this uh, potentially he's last game. for those all set, all day, too, even if he finally panned out, so. Oh, yeah. And here we are. Tries to go for the S match, gets punished for it. Oh, no. We gotta see how this is changing here. He's still trying to apply the shield pressure, but against Pikachu, 2, which is a smaller character with the harder to shoot because he's tiny. Uh, I don't think it'll work out as well. Right. Oh, but good catch for Thunder. And Sokka is going to be uh, doing what he can to try and tie this up as easily as possible without taking too much damage. But good ca good reversal, actually, in midair. 
on uh, the failed follow-up on Toast and Butter's uh, aerial option. And yeah, uh, Sokken wasted no time. He didn't even need him to land before he caught him with the punish. Oh, uh, Look at that, yeah, yeah, yeah we're getting that again. Yep. See that? Didn't, no extension, because, you know, there's an electric bat in his face. Exactly. Man, again, he's just throwing out. I think Toast and Butter might need to chill out with the S Smashers. He whiffs one, whiffs two, and on the second one, he gets punished. Yeah, that's what it's starting to look like here. But good job punishing the dash attack. And to be honest, I'm surprised that Toast and Butter was ready to punish you, given that it's actually been a pretty rare option. Uh, like throughout this set with Peak Juice Switch. I haven't seen too much dash attack, despite it being really good. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. I haven't seen it too much either. Um, Sokka has been using pretty good, or, or at least making a good effort to use these uh, Thunder Jolts. These oh, no. oh, no. Another unfortunate mishap off stage. Can't afford What's going on with the lower part of the, sh with the, lower part of the stage today? Yeah, I'm not sure, but like, uh, Sokka can't afford another mistake like that as he's on the literal last stop of this tournament run in Luger's Finals. It's been a good run, but is Sokka going to let it finish just yet? We'll have to find out. It all comes down to this. Yeah, that was a nice drag down there for, for a down tilt. There. He's doing smaller comps. He's just looking for the, the opportunity he needs. Likewise, Toast and Butter still looking for the uh, F smashes. That's right. Wow, look oh, at that. Right out of hit stun. There we go, yeah. Good for me. Straight out of the two. Toast and Butter saying, I, I, I'm not afraid of you. Just charge full speed ahead. Straight at you. He's going all in, but not not without a purpose, too. He's able to block all these X Smash attempts, but unfortunately, the forward air is going to be catching them, but not oh. enough to take out the stock just yet. Oh my goodness, Whoa. super up close and personal. Some with micro that. spacing. Yeah, super good micro spacing with that down here, but it's still going to be caught by an X Smash on the stage. And now, here's our last stock for both of these two players, what? but a tournament stock for Sockham. Is going to be taken nice. with yet another backhand. Really that, that was that was great spacing. Pikachu got clipped.